Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am posting some questions for class 6 Olympiad Maths. These are questions from Olympiad Test Paper 2017. The product of two two-digit numbers is 2688. If the product of their units digit is 48 and their tens digit is 20, then the number R. Now there are three conditions in this questions. The product of the two, two digit number is 2688. Product of their units digit is 48 and their tens digit is 20. Now look at the table. The first column shows options A, B, C, D. Second column shows tens digit of the two numbers given in options A, B, C and D. Third column shows product of the tens digits given in column 2. Fourth column shows ones digits of the two numbers given in the options A, B, C and D. Fifth column shows product of the ones digits given in column 4. So now we will check all these three conditions on the given answer options. So first condition is product of their units digits is 48. Units means ones digits. So checking this condition against all the answer options, we see that options B and D follows this condition. See the table. Both B and D have product of ones digit 48. So we can discard the option A and C here. Now product of their tens digit is 20. Checking this condition against the remaining options B and D, we see that both options follow this condition. See the table. Both the product of tens digit is 20. Now third condition is for product of two two digit numbers is 2688. So checking this condition on options B and D, we see that the numbers in option B is 58 and 46. So the, their product is 2668. And in option D, numbers are 56 and 48. Their product is 2688. So option D is the correct answer which satisfy all the three given conditions. The average of Aditya's marks in 6 subjects is 87. He got 31 marks in the 7th subject. What is his average in all subjects? Now let us denote the marks in 7 subjects by M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7. Now average of 6 subjects is 87. That is M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4 plus M5 plus M6 upon 6 equals to 87. This is the formula to calculate average. Sum of marks in all subjects divided by total number of subjects. So M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4 plus M5 plus M6 equals to 87 into 6 equals to 522. Now he got 31 marks in 7th subject that is M7 equals to 31. Now average of 7 subjects is M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4 plus M5 plus M6 plus M7 by 7 equals to 522 plus 31 upon 7 equals to 79. Now average in all subjects is 79 that is option B. The number of girls in a class is 5 times the number of boys. Which of the following cannot be the total number of children in the class? Suppose the number of boys in the class is X. Number of girls in the class is 5 times the number of boys. That is 5X. Now total number of children in the class is number of boys plus number of girls. So x plus 5x equals to 6x. 
total number of children in the class is 6x it means the number of children is multiple of 6 now check all the answer options if they are multiple of 6 or not we see that options a c and d are multiples of 6 while option b is not a multiple of 6 so option b that is 35 cannot be the total number of children in the class if one third of a tank holds 80 liters of water, then the quantity of water that half of the tank holds is, see the picture, suppose tank holds W liters of water, so one third of the tank will hold W into 1 by 3 liters of water. Now, if one third of the tank holds 80 liters of water, then W into 1 by 3 equals to 80 or W equals to 80 into 3 equals to 240 liters. Now, quantity of water that full tank holds is 240 liters. So, quantity of water that half of the tank holds is half of 240 liters or 1 by 2 into 240 equals to 120 liters so correct option is c in a class of 50 students 15 are girls five girls and two seventh of the boys were chosen up to play a match the total number of students chosen to play a match is now total number of students in the class equals to 50 Number of girls in the class is 15. So, number of boys in the class will be 50 minus 15 equals to 35. Now, number of girls chosen to play the match is 5. Two seventh of the boys were chosen to play the match. So, number of boys chosen to play the match is 2 by 7 into 35 equals to 10. So, total number of students chosen to play the match is 5 plus 10 equals to 15. So, correct option is A. Arman was asked to multiply a number by 25. Instead, he multiplied the number by 52 and got the answer 324 more than the correct answer. The number to be multiplied was now suppose the number to be multiplied was x. If the number was multiplied by 25, then the correct answer would be 25 into x, that is 25x. But he multiplied the number by 52 and got the answer 324 more than the correct answer. So if he multiplies the number by 52, it will be 52x. So, 52x equals to 324 plus 25x or 52x minus 25x equals to 324. 27x equals to 324 or x equals to 324 divided by 27 equals to 12. So, the number to be multiplied was 12 that is option C. Thanks for watching. If the video is useful, please like, share and subscribe.